What's going on YouTube? It's Yankees fan 42213 coming back at you with another video. Today, uh, or not today, but um, last weekend I went to FanFest, um, All-Star FanFest in DC, and the Futures game and the Celebrity Softball game. Sadly, I couldn't afford going to the Home Run Derby or the All-Star game itself, and I couldn't stay Monday or Tuesday anyway, but so here's a ticket from Friday. But I want to show off some of the stuff I got signed, so first we'll do cards. So on Friday, they had an opening ceremony thing. That's the whole stack. Um, before it started, and Justin Maxwell was there, and after he was done, he did 4 of 4. He was super nice. I met him before. Never got anything signed, though. And then Lisa Fernandez, an old softball player. Gold medalist three times. And then my first signing was for Juan Marichal. Hall of Fame 83 inscription. Keep the pile off to the side, actually. And then I got Ryan Church on three. He was the next signing I went to. So that was cool. Uh, I always like trying to get heritage done because they always look nice, so... Uh, and then I got Levon Hernandez at the world's largest baseball. They do photo ops, and sometimes if they're nice enough, they'll sign, and he signed. Then Jamie Carroll was the next signing I went to. Got him on two. Raleigh Fingers was the next guy I went to. Got the MLB authentication on the back. I think that's 71 tops. Um, Carlos Baerga on two. Went through his line twice to get him on two. Um, he was only doing... The guy told us only one per person, but then after that guy left, he was racking. But I went through when there, that guy was there. And then same guy went over to Alex Gonzalez. I was telling people one per person. So I went through again, and then the guy said, okay, uh, he'll need to personalize it, but... I said, you can personalize it if you want. I really don't care. And Gonzalez didn't care, but I think the guy was his agent. So, and Justin Maxwell, that, uh, that was all Friday. And then Saturday, we bought more Justin Maxwell cards because we saw him walking around and we knew he'd sign them all. <clears throat> uh, he might end up being my next private coach. Then Scott Harrison. All these guys are pretty nice. Ricky and Keel. Got my picture with him. I got my picture with probably everyone I met too. And then at the World's Baseball photo op, World's Largest Baseball photo op, I was standing by Jerry Harris in Jerry Harrison's line when I saw there were people on the other side, and I saw the back of the jersey and it said Al and it said Kirilov, so Alex Kirilov, and then Kyle Wright. Um, I got a picture with them, and then I said, "Hey, when when you guys are done, do you mind signing?" And Wright said, "Yeah, sure." Kirloff didn't say anything because he's not that nice of a guy, but Kyle Wright did one of two. At least he signed, though. He was super nice about it. Um, a guy tried to put his ball in front of me, and he was like, nah, man, this guy asked first. So I thought that was pretty funny. <clears throat> but um, Jerry Harrison Jr. did 5-5. Five of five. I went over to him after he was done. Um, at the photo op. He was super nice. I really like the way that turned out. He said he never saw this because it was a giveaway. I would have given it to him, but he signed it quickly. But I was, I was going to ask him if he wanted it. And then he said he hadn't seen this card since it came out. And then Chad Cordero was the next guy I went through. Got him on this Ginter Mini. And this 2007 Upper Deck. So he was doing one per through his line. And then Steve Finley, super nice guy. I wish I had an Orioles card for him, but I didn't. Just a Giants and a Padres. And I got him on the baseball. He was a really good player. Two-time All-Star. Um, inscription, and Jenny Finch, old softball player. Alexa Dat on MLB Network. 
and that's it for, oh, and then for Jenkins. Um, and then baseballs, I got Manny Sanguian, old Pirates player, authentication. I didn't want to ask him to switch pens because he's in his 80s or so, I think. Maybe, maybe late 70s, early 80s, I'm not sure, but he's in a wheelchair and uh, he was super nice though, but his autograph isn't as nice as it used to be because of him getting older and older, but I give props to a guy like that taking the time and being at FanFest. And then I got Latroy Hawkins on the sweet spot. I saw him walking around. Uh, I didn't have any cards for him, so... And he doesn't sign Rockies cards, just to let you guys know. But, um... Anyway... And then we did hotel at the Futures game because that's, like, the only way to get them. Um, I usually won't do hotel, but um, it's the only way to get them because uh, you can't really graph them on the way to the stadium unless you follow them, which is kind of weird. But anyway, I got Taylor Trammell, the MVP of the Futures game. He was super nice. He was personalizing, but he was super nice. Got him on a heritage for the set. And then Jerry Manuel, one of the coaches, signed it like that. For the 2002 top set, he was super nice. And then Justice Sheffield on a Yankees card. So, um, and then photos. Um, they're giving out these Jim Robinson, Pedro Sierra. Um, so I got them on that. Um, got my picture with Sierra. And then I got, they are giving out these fan fest papers for anyone that didn't have anything. Got Anthony Sullivan, the OxyClean guy. And then Dewell Lugo on one. Because Dewell Lugo was there too. But I didn't have anything. And then Andre Dawson on a 5x7. Um, they He wasn't signing personal items. They would just give you that. And then, hold on just a second. I got this as well from Anthony Sullivan to Andy Go Yankees. Anthony Sullivan. He was giving that out to everyone. Uh, it's like a full-on thing of oxygen. Um, I think that's it for the autographs. Um, but they also gave away a gnome at the Futures game. Teddy Roosevelt gnome. There's that. I took it out already. Um, I got this Topps Bunt pennant free from the Topps booth. And I got this Nationals yoga mat. It's pretty big. And then I bought this All-Star Game pennant for like 12 bucks. It's really cool. And then I also bought a Glaber Torres shirt. Um, two All-Star Game shirts. Hats were way too expensive for my taste. Um, and I didn't really, wasn't a huge fan of the hats this year. But, yeah, I'll get the gnome real quick to show you. Get the bobblehead they gave away first day at Fan Fest. They gave away a coin the second day, but I'm not sure where I put mine, which kind of sucks because I really liked it. But anyway, here's the bobblehead they gave away. It's a tiny bobblehead, as you see. Like, this is my finger. So it's a tiny bobblehead, but it's cool, I guess. But they're selling for like 50 bucks because they only give them away to 3,000, I think. And then Teddy Roosevelt gnome, which I think is pretty funny, um, but yeah, um, longer video, but I got a lot of stuff signed, I got a lot of giveaways, I got a lot of cool stuff, um, but yeah, um, that's it, thanks for watching, I had so much fun, um, we think we're gonna go next year to Cleveland, um, so if you can be there, let me know, we can meet up. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment. Oh, I forgot about two things. Um, I did a Futures Game team ball for guys that didn't have anything for it. I got Brian Matta, Lewis Thorpe, and Kieran Lovegrove. And then give me a second to find. Oh, I actually have no idea. Futures game and select softball program. Got signed by a 
ton of celebrities, but I'm not sure where it is. I'll show it off in another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think.